Hello everyone. Today I'm doing unusual video for myself too. Um, I'm gonna show you what is inside the survival garden kits. Um, basically, um, I have a little garden and I like to plant something. Uh, easy, what is easy growing? Um, not that much because I live uh, close to downtown and I don't have a lot of um, gardening space. So, and I was thinking because we're in quarantine and um, staying home and uh, we don't know what's going to be later. So I thought, why not to buy and keep the um, garden seeds for some time? And because I did see a lot of reviews, you can keep them up to 20 years. So you put them, I'm going to um, read you the instructions I, and I did a big research and you just keep them. You just put them in a freezer and forget. And if you need them by any chance, um, you'll have them. So I got this from Amazon, premium ones and survival garden. So um, I'm not in panic. I'm not like in that mood that you have to stock up whatever you can to um, survive in future. I just was thinking it's a good idea to have something that probably you will need later. And if you don't need, you can just plant it and that's it in a year, in two, in a couple years. So the first box came to me um, was premium one. I'm going to just try to show you how it looks like and then open. It has a 100 varieties. I like how they um, packed everything. So I'm going to open. I did open this one, but I um, didn't have chance to open um, the little one. So it came with the instruction how to save your uh, seeds for a long time. So basically, um, they all telling about the mason jar or some type airtight container. So I have mason jars and they would work perfectly and I can put it in a refrigerator or freezer whatever they saying. So look over here. If they will be just in this jar, they can keep for uh, from three to five years. If I will put in a jar, in a original packages and refrigerator, it will, it will keep till 10 years, six, 10 years. But what I'm personally going to do, because I don't need seeds, I'm buying like different type of seeds for the garden. I'm going to put it in a jar and then I'm going to freeze it. And it's going to be good for 10 to 20 years, which is amazing. And maybe then I will replant it and see what's going to be. Um, maybe I will take a video <laughs> in like 10 or 20 years. I'm just joking. Or maybe. Who knows? Um, so um, this is just the instruction. It also came with the free uh, microgreens. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to put it into the freezer and I'm gonna uh, just plant it. It's not a big deal and I don't think I need to take space with the microgreens because um, I don't grow them that often. So this kit came with four labeled A, B, C and D Ziplocs and each Ziploc has a lot of I think 25 types of, um, let's see, I'm going to dump them. So basically, uh, each bag is similar. It has watermelon in each single bag, A, B, C, and D, but they are different, um, Type. So this watermelon is uh, crimson sweet. The other one is just completely different name. But it has everything, whatever you need. Turnip, tomato seeds. What is that? Another tomato seeds. I have no idea what is that. Squash. Another type of squash. You can see even the difference with the seeds. Um, spinach. So basically, 
I'm going to go faster. It has everything, whatever you would probably need if the shelves will be empty in the store and you would like to plan something. Letters. Another letters. Eggplant. It's hard. Eggplant is very hard for sitting for me. Deal. Love deal. Cucumber. Even cabbage. I had a funny story with the cabbage. I had only one cabbage plant in my garden. And I had a bunny who never touched the cabbage when it was little, bigger, and medium. And that bunny was my friend because he was coming over. He didn't eat anything in my garden. So I was like so confident with that bunny. And then one morning I came to the garden and the bunny ate the whole entire cabbage. So... I did call him a clever bunny because he was waiting until the cabbage grew up um, the decent size for him to snack on. From that time, I do not plant cabbage. Just because I don't have that tight um, fence around the garden. Okay, that is the um, box number one. So basically, there is 25 bags in each Ziploc. So here is 25 little bags with similar... Oh, I can show you like this. And here. And I'm going to take them out of the bigger Ziplocs and put them in a glass jar. And put them in a freezer. So I'm kind of excited because that is something new I never did before. I even didn't think about that. But now I have a little bit extra time for um, researching. And I found out that hmm, maybe it's a good idea because people are doing that. So now I'm going to um, cut the Mylar bag to open and see what is inside of the survival garden thing. Okay, now I did open the... Um, Mylar bag. This is the type of bag that people save a lot of food. And um, you can seal this particular type of bags with the hair straightener, which is super cool. Um, I've never done it before, but and I never had the Mylar bags before. But it sounds interesting. But I like my vacuum sealer with the regu regular um, special bags for that. So this is... Um, Another kit that has only 32 varieties. So that was inside that bag. Tons of seeds and a um, growing guide. I like this idea. If people probably go in somewhere for like camping for the whole summer, they want to grow something. Or this would be handy for um, people who start uh, growing without knowing how to. And I like how much information they give about each single bag, each single um, type of seeds, how to grow them. So, let's see what they have. So, basically, the seeds are the same, but did you notice that there is um, way more seeds per package? So that is celery, those are carrots, Ooh. and a little bit of corn, bell pepper. Some of the uh, little baggies look like super full. Beans, oh they have beans. Okay, so seed storage number two looks just like this. Um, I'm going to put the little baggies like that. I'm going to um, keep this for the record. Maybe I will cut this um, thing out and place inside, inside of the jar. And definitely I will put this inside of the jar because if I will place it somewhere else, I will forget that secret space. And I'm going to put all of these tiny bags 
because it says keep in the um, original bags so I'm gonna keep in the original bags all of the seeds except the uh, free package of microgreens I got because don't see the reason to keep them um, in the uh, freezer for that long and um, and I hope that I was helpful with all of this um, situation because um, I did a huge research. I'm like, which one to buy? Do I need it? What's going to be? So I spent a couple um, extra dollars for this. I didn't plan to, but because um, I did a big research, I decided to do it. Um, and I um, was super excited to see how many people like, storing something um whatever they don't need right now but um uh, they might need in future so yep yeah, let me put everything in a jar and show you how it will look like that how the seeds look like inside the jar believe me or not but that manual um about how to grow each package did not fit in the jar because I um, underestimated the space in the jar. But that will go on the um, shelf in my freezer, on the door shelf in my freezer. And I will put the date on top. And I will forget about that. So it will be there for like... I want to keep it as long as I can. Just, um, just for fun. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching.